Hello, we're going to make a video, and this video will demonstrate running a Silvaco TCAD demo program. This video is specific to the Fall 2023 Lehigh ECE 451 Physics of Semiconductor Devices course. Although the example that will be accessed may not be directly related to the ECE 451 course, the example will provide guidance on running other Silvaco examples. Okay, the first thing that we need to know is we need to know what computers actually have the Silvaco on and can run them. So if we come in here to the ECE teaching, oh, this is the ECE teaching labs.cc.lehigh.edu website. And this is uh, the current website for fall 2023 with information on the ECE uh, uh, Linux teaching labs. So if I come down here to teaching lab Linux platform, this shows the machines, and if I scroll on down, you'll see the CentOS 7 servers running Silvaco. Uh, I need to update that. That's 2022. Uh, and um, these machines will have access to uh, running Silvaco. Uh, the machine names are ece-server01.cc.lehigh.edu down through ece-server14. Dot cc dot lehigh dot edu. So we're going to choose one of those machines to go ahead and run the Silvaco on. Okay, so what I, I'm coming in with X2Go. There are other videos uh, that show how to get X2Go started. Um, and so the X2Go uh, is a gateway machine, and it does not, um, <coughs> excuse me, it does not allow uh, for um, any running of programs on the X2Go, ECE X2Go server. So what we're going to do now is uh, I brought up a terminal window. I'm going to make the text a little bit bigger by holding down the control shift key. Uh, do it one more time. And I'm actually going to scrunch this down a little bit so that uh, when I type in text, it's not being covered by application bar. Should I type in text? Okay, so the first thing I need to do is go to a machine that we can actually work on. So I'm going to go to um, S, uh, I'm going to SSH with a dash capital X so it tunnels the graphics, dash little L. The next thing will be my um, user ID. This would be your user ID that you were sent. Uh, you wouldn't type ECE demo, you would type your user ID. Uh, and let's try uh, ECE dash server 05.cc.lehigh.edu. First time you go into a machine, you're going to get uh, a, this prompt, and it basically wants to give you the public half of an encryption key, and you have to type yes. And then here you would type your uh, password. And can take a second or two, but we'll get mounted and we'll go ahead and run our uh, run our program. And it's taking a second here. Okay, there we're in. Okay, so. Um, and it can take a second or two to get in, depending how much activity there is on the network or in the, in, in the, on the platform. So if I type ls, um, the examples are going to be held. Uh, you should have this on your ID. Uh, you should see a directory that says Silvaco uh, deck build examples. Okay. In order to run the Silvaco, we need to source a, uh, a uh, environment script. And uh, the environment script will be the Savaco-2022 tcad-env.sh script. And the way that we'll source that is um, I'll type source scripts Savaco-2022 tcad environment shell. Okay. And then what I, what I can do now is I can type virtuoso. 
uh, no, no, I'm sorry, uh, deck build. And I always put a space, and I put an ampersand so I get my um, cursor back with the, with the prompt. And here's Savako starting. Okay, to run an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click File, Open. And um, I'm going to come into the Savako deck build examples. And version 4.2.9.r. And these are the different uh, categories of examples they have. And you'll see these directories here. Uh, I'm going to go into laser, more or less just randomly choosing one. And I'm going to go into the laser 01 example. Uh, the files for deck build have a dot in extension, so I'll go ahead and I'll click that. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it. And this is the file that uh, I read in. Okay. So there's a number of ways you can uh, run your uh, run your examples. You have the uh, uh, you can click run up here at the top, and it gives you different uh, different options. Uh, you can also just click this little green. Uh, arrow here and it says run continue so I'll go ahead and click run continue I'll cl hit click I'll click that little green arrow or symbol and we'll give it a second here as it runs and it's continuing to run Okay, and at some point you're going to start seeing some, some output. And there's the Tony plot. And that's the uh, Atlas part. Okay. And um, here's some other output from the, from the run. So you get a bunch of graphs. Okay. Some more graphing. Okay, so th this is the... Um, some of the types of output that you can get when you run your Sovaco. Uh, again, um, we'll go ahead and close this up. Uh, but that's a process you use to get to the different examples. And you can go into the different examples and run them uh, and, uh, and see the different output that you can get from Sovaco. You can also go in and you can see those files that, uh, that are being uh, created. And uh, those .in files, and that'll give you an example of how to uh, write and construct a uh, file for uh, Sovaco to use. Okay, and then when you're done, uh, gracefully exit out. And we're, I'm, I'm going to remove the uh, files that were generated with this. Um, you can save them if you're going to be continuing to run this. Um, and that's all there is. And then just gracefully exit out of the X to go if that's what you used. Uh, so when I ex exited out of uh, the ECE-Server05 machine back to the X to go uh, machine, sometimes that, in fact, usually that does not uh, exit back to a prompt. So what I'm doing is I'm going to hit uh, control C to get my dollar sign back. And then we'll go ahead and log out. And then that's all there is to uh, running an example program. I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you for listening.